What's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Grizz. Today we're going to be tackling the Call of Duty 2020 wish list. Things that we want in zombies that we didn't quite see in Black Ops 4. Some improvements. Treyarch, if you're watching this video, be sure to check the comment section below. All my subscribers here got some really good input as we move along. So let's go ahead and get started with the gameplay changes. The first thing that I definitely want to see in zombies is weapon inspection. I want to be able to look at my weapon, man. So if you could allow that to be possible, I'd really appreciate that. The other thing is we got to tackle the creative class. I know a lot of you guys want the return of the old perk system. So here's what I got for you. Four to five default perks per map. So whatever maps there are, there's always those on the map. But we have one custom perk slot. And that's what we see in our creative class. So we do got four perk slots total, but we always have one that's customization. It's an option, and the modifier is included on that one customization option for a perk. We always have a bunch of options here in Black Ops 4. There's a lot to choose from, but if we can only choose one to bring into the game and always have default perks there on the map, I think people would really appreciate that. Keep the elixirs, the gobble gum system, but remove the talismans. Keep the special weapon, the equipment, and the starting weapon. I really liked that. I want to keep the class tab for custom loadouts. I think that was a good idea to keep that in there. And return of the BO3 style HUD. Simple and clean. Forget all the squiggles, all the extra stuff. Let's get back to the basics. Okay, so now that we've talked about the create a class system, let's go ahead and talk about armory menu changes. The mastery camos, we got gold, we got diamond, we got dark matter. We need a new dark matter. We've seen it reflected quite a few times now, and in Black Ops 5, Call of Duty 2020, we want to see a new Dark Matter. Maybe green this time for zombies, but uh, keep custom paint jobs and operator mods. The attachment, it takes two attachments to have operator mods, but I thought that was a really good addition here in zombies. When it comes to accessories, when we prestige our weapon once, it shows our clan tag. When we prestige our weapon a second time, it shows our kill count. However, in the accessories, I do think this should be digitally just on our weapon always, and it shouldn't take up our accessory slot. When it comes to death effects, I did like the death effect, but the ner they got to nerf the sound effects, man. It's really annoying hearing the sound effects there every time you kill a zombie, but it's still a really good feature. A new one that I want to add is that we should have a new pack-a-punch effect. And the idea I have is with a reload animation, somehow uh, shove the magazine into your weapon. Just customization there with the pack-a-punch effects. Controversial things I want to talk about here. Weapon variants with the black market. We have Mastercraft camos and we have MK2 weapons. The Mastercraft camos, you activate visual stages by getting tiers of kills. I th they're really cool. And the MK2, you get 25% bonus XP per kill. So the point I'm trying to make with it being controversial is that it deals with the Black Ops Pass. There needs to be incentives with the Black Ops Pass. We'll talk about that coming up, but we can't settle for anything less than the new reserve system. That's why it's controversial. So let's move on to personalized character menu changes. This is very important. Uh, War Paints tab, right? We unlocked in Operations and Holiday Callings. Uh, things that I think need to be added because that's all we have in the personalized characters menu is Outfits we need an outfit tab that uh, has different themes just like blackout The other thing is an extras tab with the spray paints and gestures wheel I'd really like to see that in zombies. I think it'd be really cool um, And two things I just want to add not necessary. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section but add a headgear tab for themed hats and add foot gear tabbed for theme boots and shoes. Now those don't necessarily have to be there, um, but if they were earnable, I think this could be something that would um, add some flavor to the mix. Okay, so let's talk about daily callings and contracts. There's a lot of good things here. I think they should keep the daily tier skip round 15. They should keep play 20 rounds on random maps, but this should only appear for maps that you only own. Okay. So keep six new contracts per day revolving. I really like that. Keep the hard contracts with buffed rewards. These are all great things for daily contracts. Keeps you in the mode, in the game. Uh, but for weekly contracts, we've got to talk about the factions element of this. But first, the weekly contracts. Add six new contracts, four normal, two hard, just like we got with the daily. But add earnable character personalization loot for the two hard weekly contracts. This is very important. 
Now, Factions was teased at Comic-Con 2018. Four different options. We had Blood Faith, Tempest Novi, Dustborn, and the First Legion. That's what was revealed. Each containing their own quests and narratives, players choose to side with a faction and progress along that path, sort of how you tiered up in each operation. This was meant to add another dimension to the story and add a new layer to the zombies experience. I'd like to see factions be an addition like the community headshot challenges we saw in Black Ops 3 where we earned rewards for reaching milestones. Calling cards, elixirs, pack-a-punch camos, war paints, outfits, and even COD points would be great rewards. So let me know what you guys think about my ideas here for factions down in the comments section below. When it comes to theater mode, this 100% needs to stay. It was in Black Ops 2, it was in Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 4, and I'd like to see it return for Call of Duty 2020, 100%. We need theater mode. Let's talk about the laboratory for just a second. Now, in addition to the three default concoctions, I'd always like if the special offers remained available. Valerium Bundle, which was 15 Nebulum Plasma. The Tungsten Tripler, which was 9 Elixirs and 3 Talismans for 100 Nebulum Plasma. And the Titanium Treble, which was 40 Nebulum Plasma. Then on the side, maybe have the 50% off Nebulum Plasma sale for 500 COD points. That's where we get 150 Nebulum Plasma. I think we can all agree that without Newton's cookbook, the laboratory is pretty uneventful. There's a lot of empty space that can be filled, and I'd like to see all of these remain available. Okay, so now that we've talked about the laboratory, let's talk about the store. What's controversial about the store? It's that the Black Ops Pass separated the player base. There needs to be more incentives, like daily login bonuses. Maybe add some theme customization for holiday outfits. Add Mastercraft MK2 weapon variants for Black Ops Pass only holders. These things need to be in there. We need the incentives so more people will buy into this if it's going to be that way. When it comes to the new reserve update and the new reserve system, we should not settle for anything less than the pick a weapon bribe inventory. Trading 50 reserves for the DLC weapons, the Mastercrafts, the MK2s. This needs to be earnable always. Now we all know it is unfortunate that the reserve system update didn't come until after the life cycle of Black Ops 4, but it did happen. Just like Call of Duty World War II, it, we got the fair system after the game cycle was over. So hopefully with Black Ops 5 or Call of Duty 2020, we get it at launch. Now let's talk about game modes to close this out, fellas. I appreciate you hanging with me. The classic mode is round based, of course. It's what we all love. We have Rush Mode. That's the best mode outside of the Classic Mode. But it was taken out of the Public tab. So was Gauntlet's Mode, but Gauntlet's was trash. If Population Count was the issue, Treyarch's also guilty of not advancing these modes. This is also part of the problem as to why Grief Mode from Black Ops 2 Zombies never returned. Treyarch also changed the mode of Turned into a Blackout Mode. And that was taken away from ever returning to Black Ops 4 Zombies. Grief Mode has a lot of untapped potential still, and so does Rush Mode. Those are two of my favorite modes outside survival, and if those modes were interlinked with contracts and factions, we may just experience zombies at its full potential. That's what I want to close out on, fellas. Those are my wishes for Black Ops 5 Zombies, Call of Duty 2020 Zombies. Let me know down in the comments section below what you agreed with, what you disagreed with, Maybe where you're sitting in the middle, you got some additions. Maybe Treyarch will even check out this video. And your input could definitely help shape the next game in the Black Ops series. If you're looking for an update on Zombies Chronicles 2, be sure to check out my last video. We did check out the loading screen number 5 from the comic book series. We got some juicy intels on some leads. So be sure to check out that video. And very soon, very, very soon, we're going to be getting that COD 2020 reveal trailer. Be sure to check out the community tab as well. Be sure to vote. Do you think we're going to see zombies in that trailer? I'd like to know what you think. Other than that, drop a like on this video, fellas. Be sure to subscribe. Activate the bell notifications so you can get push notifications on your cell phone each time I upload a new video. We're going to be holding out all the way in Black Ops 4 until the next Treyarch game. So I'll see you in the next video, fellas. Violent out.